This is a very short clip taken after reassembling the heater and before the casing was put on so that you might get a little bit better idea of how pieces go together showing the pan here and the dripper assembly with the locking mechanism in the immediate front there. Uh, looking down on top you can see the slot which is rotated to the left and when rotated to the rear this would allow you normally to slide the pan out to the front. At this stage the heater is not burning completely and this shows that we have a small amount of oil in the bottom of the pan. When the pan is up to full temperature this would not normally be the case. At the moment uh, because we're still warming up there is a slight amount of smoke. Here we can see the gauge at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and it normally runs at about the 600 mark. This will lead to a small amount of smoke which at the moment is not excessive but it is smoking very slightly. Just to finish off, uh, show a couple of slides showing the pan from the top with the two primary air holes either side of the dripper locking assembly uh, which is in position to allow the pan to slide into place at the moment. The next slide is showing the underside of the pan with an amount of soot on the bottom part where air has leaked in under the lid and the dripper locking mechanism and the primary air holes at the top and this just gives a general view of the pan with the uh, locking mechanism disassembled showing the slots and the observation hole uh, drilled into it so that the oil uh, drip rate can be observed and that's about all for the moment.